Okay, everybody, we're going to work through uh, the crane and jack assignments. Now, I'm not giving you using those numbers. But what I will be doing is showing you the method that we can uh, go through, and then you can simply look at this and then convey that method onto the sizes that I have given you in the assignments. All right, uh, I've kind of color coded this into that we have the black is my two inch piston. The red will be where we generate pressure and the pump, and the green is my my handle. When I get to the end, what I'm going to do is I'll put a boom on this and we'll look at what we would do if it was a on an engine crane where it would be a third class lever. Now I have gone ahead and worked out most of the math so that this should be a fairly short video to watch and hopefully we can do it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of keep this color coded so that we can uh, work this out together. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is with the green and I'm going to look at what my mechanical advantage is on my lever and my handle. All right, so we have two inches from the pivot to the point where the pump is working, and we have 20 inches from the pivot to the handle. So we use the lever formula, right, to figure out what our mechanical advantage is. And remember that it is always effort length over the load length. I've kept the numbers here pretty simple so we don't have to get really involved in a whole lot of math. All right so my effort level was 20 inches. My load length is two inches. Right do the math very easily 20 divided by two gives me a 10 to 1 ratio. All right so whatever we do out here will be multiplied by 10. All right, so I've used an effort of 15 pounds, and with 15 pounds effort, we're multiplying it by 10, would be equivalent of 150 pounds. And don't forget to put whatever your, your math you're doing. So what we're saying now is that at this point right here, Pushing down, we have 150 pounds of effort pushing down on that pump. All right. Now that pump is a round pump, very similar to my marker. So we are going to calculate the area of that pump now. All right. Find my red marker. Right here. All right. So looking at here, so it is half an inch in diameter. All right, so use our formula. So 0.25 times 0.25 times 3.14 equals 0 0.19625 inches squared. All right, again, don't forget to put that in there. So what we do now is we have, we have an area and we have an, uh, a force. So Ask yourself, what things do we use for area and force? We all know the answer is Pascal's law. All right, so I'm going to do this over here, right here. So we have Pascal's law, which says force is equal to pressure times area. All right, and we know that our force is 150 pounds, and our area is point, uh, 0.19625 inches squared. So now when I do that calculation, all right, when I take 150 and divide it by 0.19625, I come up with a pressure and I got to go to my math sheet of pressure, which is the red, sorry, the red in here. This fluid is all going to be under an equal pressure. And that pressure is going to be 764.3312 PSI. That is what is on the bottom of this ram. All right. So we have a pressure and we have another cylinder. So in order to find 
uh, use what we can lift, what force we are going to generate up. We are going to now take this and we are going to do the area for this cylinder. And again, I've kept the numbers pretty easy. Let's do that over here. Uh, let's go, actually, I'm going to have to move that down here. Uh, two inches, right? Divided by two equals one. So one times one times 3.14 equals 3.14 inches squared. Pretty simple. I can do that one in my head. All right. Now, so this is the area of this piston. This was the area of the ram. All right. And then my effort level. So now we're going to have Pascal's law again. We're going to use it over here. Only this time, we don't know what the force is. We do know that the pressure, sorry, 764.33121011 times 3.14. All right, do the math. All right, so when we do the math, when we take this 7, 764.33121011 PSI and multiply it by 3.14 inches square, we come up with a force of, and you, you won't believe how, how well this works out, 2,400 pounds. Exactly. All right. So we know that we can lift. 2,400 pounds, which is a little over a ton, with just a 15 pound effort at the end of my handle. All right, so that is what the jack could lift. All right, so now uh, hopefully you've got some of this out of the way because now what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of draw through this. All right, and we're going to put one more calculation into here. If this was on my engine crane, what I need to do now is figure out what the leverage advantage would be here. And I'm just going to get rid of some of this. All right. If we put our pivot here and run our boom out like this, and I, I, I know it doesn't, not going to be uh, visually perfect, but we're going to look at it this way. I'm going to say the distance from here to here is 12 inches. All right. And I'm also going to say if this is my pivot from the pivot, to the effort is 12 inches, and from the pivot to the load out here is 60 inches. Well, the math does not change. It's still effort divided by load. So 12 divided by 60 equals 0.2. That is my multiplication, uh, sorry, uh, mechanical advantage, sorry. Uh, my mechanical advantage is a 0.2 to 1. So I would take this number, right, my 2,400 pounds, and I multiply it by my mechanical advantage of 0.2, which is, I haven't done the math yet, uh, times 0.2 uh, equals 480 pounds. All right. And I've, I've got a couple of you have, have been uh, sending in different things and they're worried about inch pounds and everything else. Remember that this is a lever. So we get a mechanical advantage, the same as we did with this one. We come up with the mechanical advantage and those things together then end up. So, and again, a lot of people are making a comment in that they find that the number they're getting out here at the end is very low. But think about an engine crane. It is a long, long lever hanging out there. It, you know, if, if we kept it nice and short, you could lift more. But because we have such a length and the longer we have it, the less we can pick up at the end without tipping our crane over. But that's still picking up, sorry, I wiped it out, 480 pounds with only a 15 pound effort. All right, okay. That should be it. You should be able to work through most of the things. Hopefully you can, uh, can figure out where or if you are going wrong. Uh, I'm going to uh, take a step back for a second, let you get a good look at all of that. Um, 
and maybe just hit pause on the video and you can basically take the numbers out that, that I have on the board here and plug in the numbers that I have given you in the assignment. All right, and with that, I'm going to end it. Thank you. Bye.